You know, they really tried it. The Democrats, they really tried it. They tried saying, oh, yeah, Trump doesn't like strong, intelligent, high IQ women. And he he doesn't like women to have a voice and, and no women in power and misogyny and rage, 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 liberal rage. Let's cause more division and let's sabotage Trump because we want to have our way and we want Ku Klux Kamala Harris as president. But if if Trump was anti-women and anti-women having any type of power, then how did Caroline Levitt get here, okay? Shout out to her. Shout out to Caroline Levitt. But before we even get into this clip, I just want to go over a few pictures. How do you explain this right here? Susie Wiles, Donald Trump's campaign manager, Susie Wiles, has been named chief of staff. She is the first female chief of staff in history. Shout out to Susie Wiles right here. How do you explain that? And then on top of that, how do you explain Alina Haba? You can't forget about Alina Haba. Okay, shout out to Alina Haba. And then you have Laura Trump. Shout out to Laura Trump. I don't know who this lady is right here, but shout out to her as well. And uh, then you have Trump surrounded by all these amazing ladies right here. Shout out to all of them. Uh, I, I personally am starting to think the Diddy Krats, the Demonocrats, the Demon Rats are just jealous. That's kind of what I'm starting to think. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And then... Who we're here to talk about is Caroline Levitt. So it says right here, meet our new press secretary, Caroline Levitt. This administration is on fire. She is awesome. Shout out to Caroline Levitt, okay? And uh, yeah, she's out and about enjoying her day, enjoying her night, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into this video and I will give my thoughts and commentary on the back end. Shout out to the King Squad. Let's go. Always good to see you, and you are now the Trump transition spokesperson. Uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Let's put up on the wall the administration. Smash the like button. Shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad. At least you guys are the bomb.com. You guys are awesome. And let's go. The names as they have taken shape so far, and um, a lot of support for, for many of these picks. I guess it, it's fair to say that Matt Gates is the most controversial pick so far as Attorney General. Uh, designate by President Trump, and he has now left his post in Congress. Um, this is Kevin McCarthy, who was asked about this, a former Speaker of the House on Bloomberg. Let's watch this. Gates won't get confirmed. Everybody knows that. Yeah. It's a good deflection from others, but it also gives... Uh, I'll, I'll let it stand with that. Caroline, what do you say to that? Um, do you, does the president believe that Gates will get confirmed? And you hear Kevin McCarthy say that that won't happen, and everybody knows that. What do you say to that? We do believe that. Nine days ago, President Trump received a resounding mandate from the American people, a once-in-a-generation mandate for change. Throughout this entire campaign, the American people made it clear they were sick and tired of the status quo from the Harris-Biden administration. They wanted a new direction for this country, and they chose President Trump to put America first. He has rolled out 16 fantastic picks over the past nine days, and Matt Gates is one of those picks. I know Matt personally. He is a great person. He's a man of integrity. He also is a brilliant litigator. He served on the House Judiciary Committee for eight years. Anyone who has watched him in those hearings knows that he's incredibly impressive. And like President Trump, Matt Gates has been a victim of the weaponized Department of Justice. And one of the promises President Trump made to the American people was to root out the corruption at the DOJ. We have seen this agency turn against the American people because of their political beliefs. Matt Gates and President Trump are going to put an end to that. And that's what the American people want. That's why they elected him. So what do you say to those, it's been raised in a number of articles today, the Wall Street Journal, other places, that he was motivated to leave, uh, to resign his spot in Congress because there was an ethics report that was going to come out as soon as tomorrow, um, digging into some of these questions around behavior um, that uh, could, could really break some of these ethics regulations. Congressman Matt Gates resigned his position from Congress because President Trump appointed him to be the Attorney General of the United States. It's a well-deserved position. Matt Gates is more than qualified for it. And again, the Biden Department of Justice investigated Matt Gates for years, and they cleared him of any wrongdoing. He and President Trump have both been victims of this weaponized DOJ. We've also seen the Department of Justice under Merrick Garland, who's been a disaster as Attorney General, a political person, not someone who actually cares about law and order, turn against parents at school board 
board meetings against Catholic uh, Catholic uh, Americans at, at church, uh, having FBI informants infiltrate mass. Mm -hmm. uh, these are unacceptable actions that have been taken over the past four years, and that's why President Trump appointed someone like Matt Gates, who believes in the rule of law and who will make a fantastic attorney general for all Americans. I would also add in Congress, Congressman Matt Gates has shown that he has a willingness and an ability to work across the aisle. He's worked with Democrats like Ro Khanna and AOC on legislation, and he'll do that in this position as well. Okay, let, let's move on. Well, my bad. Okay, my mic was muted. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, shout out to Caroline Levitt here. Uh, she's just, she really is on fire. Like she, she knows what she's talking about. She's straightforward. She's a straight shot. Uh, absolutely love it. And uh, this is really my first time really, you know, seeing her in action, just talking and uh, letting us know what's going on and everything to, you know, really expect moving forward. So awesome there. And uh, let's continue on with the video. Comment down below what you guys think. On to some of the others, um, HHS is one of the unfilled jobs. There was a lot of discussion about whether or not Bobby Kennedy Jr. might be considered for that spot. Is he still in the running? And does the president want to find a prominent place for him? Uh, certainly, President Trump wants to find a place for RFK Jr. He has made that very clear throughout the campaign. RFK Jr. is a once-in-a-generation thought leader. Mm -hmm. He's an independent mind, a critical thinker. We definitely need more of that in Washington, D.C. As for his specific position, I'll let President Trump announce that. But RFK Jr. will focus in the Trump administration on making America healthy again. That's another promise that President Trump made on the campaign trail. And with an appointment of RFK Jr. to whatever position President Trump uh, provides, uh, decides uh, that promise will be delivered upon shout out to rfk jr really excited to see him in office uh and just in in action okay and uh I, i'm just really excited to see what the next four years hold on honestly you know when i when i see the MAGA avengers it's just absolutely amazing okay uh tulsi gabbard another one i didn't even think of her um tulsi gabbard uh who else uh melania trump yeah uh shout out to as far as the awesome women in the MAGA team, all that right there. Uh, but yeah, so as far as the MAGA Avengers go, shout out to RFK, shout out to RFK Jr. Uh, that's that's what I meant to say, uh, excuse me. And then shout out to Trump, shout out to J.D. Vance, shout out to Vivek, shout out to Byron Donalds, shout out to everybody, really, just everybody. It's, it's, it's just exciting. I just, I just personally feel like America's finally back in good hands. That's that's kind of just, just where I really stand. And, uh, you know, there was something that I said in my previous videos, and I'm going to say it here. Uh, it really just feels like we've been unburdened by what has been. And that, I personally believe, is the truest thing regarding Trump, you know, being elected as president and moving the MAGA Avengers in position. So that's my thoughts on that. Let's continue on with the video. Um, OK, in, in terms of press secretary, obviously, it's a prominent position. It's someone who interfaces almost on a daily basis with reporters. Um, is, is that something that you hope? to do in the next White House. Well, look, I have been honored to serve as the spokesperson for President Trump's campaign over the past year. It's been a great pleasure to have a front row seat to the greatest political comeback in history. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, these are decisions that President Trump has to make. I will let him make it and I will respect whatever decision he does. Well, it's clearly it's clear that he thinks very highly of you. Um, and we will see what what happens. We know Alina Haba took her name out of the running for that position. There are a couple names getting tossed around. But as I said earlier, um, sometimes these lists uh, don't mean anything because <laughs> sometimes we we get some surprises. So we'll see. Do you expect that we're going to hear some more appointments this afternoon? I do. Yes. I think the American people should stay tuned every day. President Trump is making up his mind on all of these amazing picks from Tom Homan to Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, Governor Mike Huckabee, Christy Nome. The list goes on and on. The American people are going to be well served by a Trump administration 2.0. Caroline Levitt, transition spokesperson for the Trump team and the Trump White House. Caroline, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Awesome. 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 Okay. Shout out to Caroline Levitt. Okay. Uh, really awesome stuff here. And, um, yeah, you know, I just, I just really am excited to see what the future holds. Quite frankly, I'm really excited to see what the future holds. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below. I, I personally think that she, I, I think she's on point. I think that Trump has a really, I think Trump really is, is coming in strong and, um, 
he could even possibly be coming in strong with just how quickly he's moving because uh because they tried to take this man's life out. I mean, this is just a theory, but this is something that crosses my mind. And it's the fact that, you know, when when they tried to when they did those assassination attempts on Trump and he got hit uh, in his ear, you know, I, I personally believe that something just in him said, you know what, when I get elected, it's showtime. And that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing with the people he's appointing in office. And, you know, <laughs> it's like what the memes say, daddy's home. Pause. But you is that's kind of what it seems like. <laughs> it's kind of what it seems like. And uh, it has me very excited to see what the future holds. Um, I, I look forward to, you know, a much healthier, much more prosperous uh, America. So that's that. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And as always, shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad. At least you guys are at You guys are awesome. Shout out to the conservative women out here setting the example for the libtards. Okay, so that's you have that there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.